hey, who am I and why do I do this? Um, unlike many YouTubers, I haven't had a chance to let you know who I am and talk about me. Um, and so I decided to take a video and just kind of do that. Um, you hear hugs from Seattle, so you know that I'm out here in Washington State. Uh, but that's about all you know, so I thought I'd share some things with you. So I've kind of gathered a whole bunch of random photography that kind of show a little bit about, you know, what's around me and what I do. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about me without actually referring to the photography. So they're not directly related. They're just a second layer of here's some things around me that I see so that you can see through my eyes a little bit of my life. So um, I'm actually from the East Coast, uh, raised in Massachusetts and uh, most of my adult life in New York. Um, so being over here on the West Coast is very different than how my life began. So it's kind of cool. Moving to the West Coast was a big change for me. I moved first to California and then it was actually my job that moved me um, to Washington. And so I... Um, I fell in love with Washington. Washington is like, it's such a beautiful state. Um, we have such a variety of things to do and, and just a lot of nature. Um, eagles will fly over my house and that's kind of special. Um, so we can go see whales. Um, we just have, a, we have such a variety of things. We have city life too in Seattle as well as uh, countryside and Wow, it's just amazing, uh, Washington State. So I'm kind of addicted and I'm gonna stay. So even after I left the job that I had, you know, that, that moved me here to Washington, um, I just got another job and I am a consultant for uh, the Microsoft campus here in Redmond. And so, uh, so my work is pretty much locked down. There's plenty of work here. So not so much worries about, you know, the, the whole economy thing, because um, we have some major yeah, businesses here. We have Microsoft, we have Boeing, we have Starbucks. And so they offer the Washingtonians, they, wash, they offer Washington quite a diverse workforce. In addition to other things, I mean, there are artisans here too. So it's not just a professional environment. It, it is also, you have, you have every kind of a thing here so it's kind of a cool place to live um, I don't know what the unemployment rate is but I'm sure that these larger businesses here do help to keep that lower uh, which is good news um, I moved here uh, from Sacramento now uh, just to let you know in Sacramento I was I was in information systems but not mainstream so I was working in construction industry so you'll see some pictures of uh, us out building wastewater pipes so I mean talking huge wastewater pipes so you'll see a picture of Tracy standing in the center of one I'll try to point it out if I catch it while I'm talking so not being in the mainstream technology is different from like being in a company that's nothing but technology and so I kinda got geekier because I am so passionate about technology. I just love everything that, you know, the electronics, the te and I'm not I'm not really specific to any particular type. I'm kind of technology agnostic. I do PCs, I do Apple, I do whatever. I think I was one of the first to have the the phone that was uh what is that Palm phones. I remember the Palm phone and you had that special script for Palm. Yeah, I've always been a geek, and so that's why I call myself Girl Geek, because technology has kind of uh, been an overriding passion. In addition to one day, I'll tell you about my spiritual background, which has to do with my love for the Bible, which is another story. So I'm kind of one of these people that's very likes to do a lot of things and kind of like is obsessive about whatever they're doing. So it just kind of gets into it really deeply. Um, kind of digs both feet in and goes deep, 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 deep. And then what'll happen is because I can be easily bored, I'll kind of roll off of that thing and move on to another thing. But in everything that I find like, that I have ever done, um, I wasn't, I never left it. You know, it's like, you know, you say people going through phases. I don't think that's it because I don't, I never leave what I left behind. It just becomes another layer 
in my life. And so it's kind of cool. Here are the pictures of us in construction. And this, this, we were building a huge wastewater pipe and there's a wastewater tunnel we were inside. So poop city for days. And then that group that I worked for is really hard to leave them to come here to Washington. But again, the opportunity to work on the Microsoft campus and with some very highly talented geeks like myself, it was a lot of fun to kind of uh, change worlds and get into mainstream technology. I got to work for Surface, which was one of the Microsoft products that I favor. Uh, so I, in putting up these pictures, I had to be really careful not to put up pictures that somebody might feel I should have, you know, uh, I didn't want to put up any pictures that could maybe offend someone. So I had to be careful not to put too many people up, but at the same time, share some pictures from everyday life with you. So why do I do these videos now? And why do I do what I do in Stamping Up has to do with all of the life I had before now was around work, really. I, I guess I've been a career-driven person for so long. And if it wasn't a career, I was completely in a spiritual environment where I spent a lot of time giving to others, which is wonderful. There is much more happiness in giving than in receiving. But in, in, in the efforts to be a good employee and working hard and the efforts to be a good Christian and preaching the word and talking about um, the scriptures, um, there was a lot of output, 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 but not a lot of here, let me see what I, what, what can I, what can I give me? How can I, can I do something for me? And I hope that doesn't sound selfish. But, you know, you get to a point in your life sometime where you just need to explore what can, what do you have within yourself that you need to give to yourself? And so that's where I got into the creativity, you know, and I met a stamping up demonstrator who taught me that I could create. And that was, that was huge for me. I stopped paying a fortune for Hallmark and Papyrus cards. You know, I would pay $10 a card sometimes. And now I'm making them myself. I create exactly what I want. It matches the person I give it to. And when you can create something for others, giving takes on a whole new light. And I'm telling you, I have such a passion for giving. I love to give. Sometimes I feel sad because I don't feel that people respond to me in the same way, which is okay. You know, I don't give to get. But sometimes you feel, wow, I wish I could meet another me just so that we could kind of give each other and it would be kind of fun. And so the YouTube community is like that. There's a lot of giving and getting, you know, the gag kind of mentality. And people are, are fairly generous. I know in Split Coast Stampers, I couldn't believe the generosity. Strange people would just do things for you to encourage you in your creativity, which I found wonderful. So I'm loving it. And I just love making things and seeing how beautiful they could be and also giving to others and seeing them smile when you do that. And they appreciate the time that you put into that handmade thing, whatever it is. And I, I tell you, I go crazy sometimes. I just make anything. I make everything, anything. Anything I can get my hands on, I'm trying to make something because it's so much fun. It's a time where I'm actually investing in the things inside of me that I didn't know existed before, and that's wonderful. Um, Stamping Up has been huge in that area in that the community, in the Stamping Up community, is very giving, and they help each other, and they share ideas. It's not like you have to have a thousand ideas by yourself. I actually love design, but some people who are in Stamping Up, they basically can just go get one of the zillions of ideas that are posted and run with it. So you don't have to be creative to be in Stamping Up. You just have to be passionate about creativity. You have to be passionate about people and about helping people to see something inside of them that they, they might not know too. And so that's why I do it and I love it. and. I don't think I'm ever going to stop doing it. I think this is going to be my retirement job. So, and just lastly, scrapbooking is huge to me, particularly because I realized at some point that I had no pictures of my life, that I had not been capturing who I am and the people around me that I love. So scrapbooking is a passion that's around retaining memories and holding on to them. So that's my story. Come and visit me more, join me on my website, purchase some products, and play. It's fun.